Okay, good morning everybody and another round of coffee and questions and the topic this time is I'm going to show you how to make a couple of variations in a, like a sanding station that you can use with your drill press. You just need some of the drum sanders. I'll show you what those look like and you just need some scrap wood and let me show you how you can make the sanding station very easy. So no long intros. Let's get right after it and let me show you some of the pictures I found and I'll show you the one that I made but there's a couple variations like I said. There we go. Okay, this is a picture I took off of the web. This is Colin Cadet. I think his name is. He has his own YouTube channel. I just took a still photo of a very simple sanding jig that he made. He used some plywood, some two by twos. You could even use two by fours. He used a hole saw. He drilled a hole through it. That way that drum sander that you see on the drill press, I mean, he can bring that down into that hole and lock it in place. And then using clamps, he can clamp that jig to the uh, drill press table. And then he's got himself a little sanding jig there. And then he can turn it on and then he can sand corners or whatever else, depending on the grit sandpaper he's got on that sanding drum. Very clever idea. And I was going to make one like this. And then I saw something that I wanted to tweak it a little bit. Let me show you a couple of pictures and we'll get right to the one that I made. Um, okay, one more picture before we get to it. It's just showing you how he set it up. And then of course, like I said, he puts clamps on it and then he can use this to do sanding his parts and whatever else he's doing. Okay, let me change the picture. I'll show you the one that I made. Okay, now here's the one that I made. Now I used, it doesn't have to be quarter inch and it doesn't have to be three quarter and it doesn't have to be, you know, one by fours. I just had some one by pine laying around and I went ahead and I created this box. I just drilled holes and used some uh, drywall screws. And I tightened it up using a little bit of glue and I set it on top of a piece of plywood. I believe it was half inch and I believe I used half inch for the top. And then I used the hole saw to cut both those holes, one for the dust port and one for the top. And this comes in really handy and I really like it because I can also clamp it. I've got this overhang all the way around it where I can use clamps and I clamp that to my drill press base. And then I just come down with the drill press like you saw in the previous, you know, photos. And then I lock it in place. I turn it on and it's got like a little drum sander going and I can, and then I can sand curves. I can sand all kinds of things. I can change the grit on those sanding drums. They're inexpensive to buy. You can get them on, you know, eBay, Amazon, anything like that. And they come in usually a set of, I think six or eight, you know, depending on what you want in varying diameters. Um, and I got a decent set of them and you just use regular sandpaper and you just cut the sheets and the instructions will show you how to tuck it into a groove. Then you go ahead and put it on your drill press, tighten it up, flip the switch on and it's real handy. I mean, I like it. It comes in like for detail work and stuff like that, especially on curved pieces. I think it's a great quick tip idea. Uh, like I said, the one that Colin has, I mean, that's even easier to make. I mean, this one's a little bit more elaborate. I liked it because I can hook my shop back up right to that dust port, turn it on, and it keeps everything super clean. If you're not worried about that, of course, you can just make it like, you know, Colin did just out of a couple of two by fours and a sheet of plywood and just clamp it down. Those are my thoughts. This is a quick tip project. Some things that I pulled off of the web I thought people would like. If you like these quick tip videos, you know, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe. If you've got a better way of doing it, drop it in the comment below. Otherwise, I'm the home handyman, and I'll talk to you folks again real soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.